Once again, no research, no rewatch, just Lost. Lost has a whole episode about two bit characters who it tried to retcon into being important, and in their star episode, they both die horribly. Most modern long form storytelling in television makes plans. Seeds planted in season one will blossom in season four or whatever. Even when winging it, it's crucial to hide the seams so that corresponding fan wiki pages don't have conflicts. To this, Lost says, nonsense. Nikki and Paolo go unseen for two seasons, then suddenly in flashbacks they've been present for every significant plot twist. Uh, an unimportant thing I just remembered, Paolo's played by the Westworld bandit robot guy? But anyway, I guess fans hated them, or the writers hated them, I think it was the fans, but instead of carrying the retrofitting to its logical conclusion, which would have been Jack being eaten by a smoke crocodile, and Paolo becoming the main protagonist, instead Nikki and Paolo get bitten and paralyzed by spiders, and then buried alive by all the characters we actually care about, who themselves can't really remember who these people were. Also, the backstory given to these characters is stupid and goofy, and Billy D. Williams shows up in them. After those two die, they're never mentioned again. This is either some very funny course correction for a show figuring out how not to spin its wheels midway through its run, or else, it's an even funnier planned bit, sending up the entire structure of the show. Either way, the episode itself which I think was called Showtime or Spotlight or something, is killer, pulpy, twisty storytelling in the fashion of, like, Twilight Zone. That Lost, a show known for introducing puzzle box storytelling requiring wiki pages of explanation into network television, pulled this off in season three is even more evidence that this show absolutely rules.